Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a lens flare to the lighting in your game scene in Unity and also how to add fog to a scene in Unity. So we'll start with a lens flare and um, firstly I'll just show you what I've got here. So I have a basic terrain here with some mountains and hills and I have some uh, trees in there and different textures. So that's my terrain which is up here in the hierarchy. I have a camera as well set up that's pointing sort of towards the sky. Okay, so just have a look at that. Um, let's preview that. And so right now that's just pointing up at the sky. I've also got a um, sunny sky box here as well around my scene. And also just um, a note there is that at the moment this is maximized in the play or game mode. So um, if you don't have yours maximized and you do want to maximize the game mode, then you can just click on maximize on play there. And the next time you click on the play button to play or test out your game, it will be maximized. Okay, so that's what I've got there. I've got a terrain, I've got a camera pointing up sort of towards the sky there, and I've got a sky box as well, a sunny one. And I've also got a directional light, which is kind of pointing down um, towards that camera. So the camera is kind of actually pointing up towards that light. All right, so terrain, camera, camera and directional light. The first thing I'll do is add um, a flare to the directional light. So um, I'll click on my directional light here in the hierarchy to select that. And over in the inspector panel here, you should have an option called flare. Now at the moment that's set to none. So I'm gonna click on the little circle next to flare. And I've got a few options here. I've got 50 millimeter zoom, small flare, and sun. So we'll start with the 50 millimeter zoom one. Just double click on that. Now, nothing is visible yet in um, just this scene mode, but if we go to the game mode, just press play, we now have um, a 50 millimeter flare there. Okay, so I've got like this sort of like these rays coming from the sun and then a bit of a lens flare down here as well. Okay, so we can change that. We could go to small flare for something a little more discreet. Okay, so we've just got like a small flare there now. And we can go back and maybe make it the sun flare this time. Okay, all right, there we go. So we've got like these sun rays here, but without that sort of flare down the bottom here. Okay, just remember, um, if you are making changes to your game, make sure you don't make any changes while it's in game mode or play mode. Okay, make sure you're, you've stopped the game mode and you're in just a normal scene mode to make any changes. All right, um, so that's how to add a flare. If you don't see the actual flare when you go into game mode, if nothing turns up, then you might just want to go to your camera in the hierarchy and make sure that you've got the flare layer selected there. Okay, so if that checkbox there isn't checked, then your flare probably won't work. Okay, and if you can't see it when you're previewing the game from the camera, don't worry, it probably is there. When you actually set up your characters or set up your game and you start moving around in your game, you'll probably see the flare. Okay, but your camera might just not be in the right position to see it at this point. Okay, next thing we'll do is add some uh, fog to the scene. Okay, so to add some fog, what we'll do is we'll go up to, um, actually before we add some fog, we might just change the skybox. So we'll go to window and then lighting and skybox, just click there. And rather than having sunny, we might change that to, uh, might have some eerie, okay. So it's just a little bit darker. All right, so I've got that. Okay, we might um, also, actually we've still got a, a flare there, but we might just move the camera or rotate the camera so it's pointing down a little bit more. Okay, all right, let's have a look at what we've got so far. All right, that's what we've got. Okay, cool. All right, so to add the fog, we need to go up to window, down to lighting. All right, same way that we went to change the skybox. 
But now we're going to scroll down until we see fog. I'm going to check that box next to fog. And now you can see that there's a really thick layer of fog over the terrain. If we zoom in, you can see that we can actually move through this fog. Okay. So we can actually move around this scene here. And the fog is really thick. When you zoom in, it sort of clears up a little bit. Um, okay, so that's pretty cool. All right, so we've got a really thick layer of fog there. Now we can fill around with this fog a little bit. Okay, um, so we can go back to window and then lighting, scroll down to fog. We can change the color of the fog if we want. So we can click on that box and pick a different color for the fog there. I'm going to just leave it as gray. Um, you can change the fog mode as well. So there's three different ones you can fiddle around with there. And you can also change the density. So um, the density at the moment is 0 0.01. We'll just preview that. So I'll click on the camera. And if you go back to window and lighting and scroll down to fog, you can actually preview the changes right there. So if we change it to 0 0.02, it becomes a lot thicker. Okay. So 0 0.01 seems to be pretty, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Got exponential squared. Just go out of that and click on play button. All right. And that's the fog that we have at the moment. So it's pretty strong. I might actually move the camera to a different location. Just find that camera. Um, where can we go? Let's move across a little bit and maybe move down a bit too. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll go back to window and lighting and this time with the fog, we might just change it from exponential squared to exponential. Let's see what effect that has. Okay, I like that. I think that looks a lot, a lot better. Um, and we'll just try one of the other effects as well. So we'll go back to lighting there and we'll change it to linear. And just play that again. Okay, so there we go. We've got sort of a much lighter, thinner fog there. So we've got um, three different types of fog there. We've got linear, exponential, and exponential squared. So you can try out those three different types of fogs. You can change the color. Um, and you can also, if you're using exponential or exponential squared, you can change the density as well. Um, I think exponential with a density of 0 0.01 suits this scene. And when we play it, that's what we end up with. So that looks pretty good. All right, so that's basically how to add lens flares and how to add um, fog to your game scene in Unity. Thanks for watching.